we are back. Another adventure. Um, we are in a new, a completely new town. Um, we're about 30 miles south of our core. Um, we're going to be deploying uh, fiber throughout the entire city here. Um, so we're going pretty much systematically, uh, street by street. That red building right there um, is where our uh, pop is located. Um, and we are currently building that out um, as as it sits now. That's the old firehouse, which is pretty cool. Um, maybe we can go take a peek at it. But right behind me, we've got our uh, drill. Um, we've already done 400 uh, feet or so today. And let's take a peek at this thing in action. Uh, these are some of our spare rods. If we hit, we, we can only go 400 feet, but we do have some extra rods. And then we got Chuck is doing his thing there. And then this is the coolest. So I think it's like a mixture of a couple different products to get that uh, consistency. Yeah, you just changed just change the rod out. too loud. This is the pump. It stays on the trailer, hooks to his hose, and it mixes like a oh, it's a variety of weird products in here. But there's like a there's a powder um, and then there's yeah there's we got clay cutter and we got drill turge. Um, that's a name so funny I could not make up. Uh, it's drilling detergent. Um, it literally is just unscented um, laundry detergent. It's like, it's just, that's all it is. Uh, and it is um, eco friendly, I, what am I understanding? Uh, maybe we can go look at the, we'll go look at our new pop too. So, this is just how far we've gone today um, for kind of a perspective. And I got to learn a little bit about this. Um, so we've gone from, uh, where the truck is or the drill is. And then these are our lines that we put in as he's locating, he puts a dot. So these are the actual, this was proposed. And then these are the actual marks. Um, and I got to, we pulled all these, uh, manhole covers. I got to do that today with Seth, uh, block over, uh, we pulled the Verizon vault, um, on the other street, not here. Uh, the sewer, uh, we pull it. Not as much fun as some of the others, but you got to do it. And um, they've got pipe in there, and they're six foot to the bottom, two foot to the top. So it's a four foot uh, poop pipe. Same thing here. We got six foot eight, two foot to, or six foot to the bottom two foot to the top, that's a four foot uh, pipe. And right here, it's three foot to the bottom, 20 inches to the top, which is a storm drain. In this town, they do not separate them. Uh, <clears throat> now, for water, what we'll do is, you see these little manholes here. You can pull that, and they have a water cutoff in there. Um, and this is a perfect example. So it's 24 inches to the nut, the nut, is what they would hook a tool to. Um, and we know that the valve is 18 inches. So um, pretty much can know what's uh, what's happening. And I'll show you one of our vaults here. <clears throat> this place is a muddy mess, man. I Like yesterday, I, I must have had 10, 10 pounds of mud on me. Oh, pull the vault open. So as you can see, 
Uh, these don't line up like perfect for as a pull through, but they're pretty damn close. I mean, we could cut that back if we needed to. Um, but yeah, dude, it hasn't rained in a long time, and this is how wet the place is. Ugh. So we'll go check this out because it's pretty damn awesome. Um, this is the old uh, Pocomoke fire station, and um, we uh, bought it for, and you're not going to believe it, five five thousand um, dollars. My partner uh, uh, Brett, he is um, he's good he's good with words. Let's put it that way. So he went to the town council meeting, and they said they can't. They're still trying to sell get rid of this. Uh, building like off their books and how the story goes is Brett said well how much do you want for it and they agreed on five thousand dollars sold right there so our development side of the company uh, Kirk pretty much runs is remodeling it and it's going to be uh, looks like the HVAC guys are on the roof uh, it's gonna be uh, nine apartments and uh, our pop in the back. And the first floor is a pretty awesome commercial space. So I'm gonna go take a peek over here. I don't think it's gonna be too loud in here, but you gotta see some of these apartments. Uh, Kirk really outdid himself on this one. I would, uh, I'd have to say. <clears throat> so, let me show you. Um, so that's our primary vault right there. That's where uh, we have two four inch conduits that go from there back um, to our uh, pop. And Kirk made me a pretty damn nice one this time. Uh, not gonna lie, he even put the racks together for me. Um, but it's really, it's pretty nice. So it does have two doors. Um, it has two doors with two locks. Um, so it's like two double, it's, I'm not explaining that right. It's two, two doors. You have to go through two doors no matter what. So this is the um, commercial space on the first floor. And it does have a garage door. So you could have a bunch of different use cases here. I mean, it really would be great for a bunch of different types of businesses. Um, so right back here is how we get into our pop. And then what we'll do is we'll go upstairs and take a peek too. So... This is, let me go back here. This is pretty awesome. So this is actually, uh, if anybody's into fire stuff, this is actually the old hose drying tower. Um, so the firemen would actually climb to the top of this ladder and drape the hose down and then they would start a fire in here. Um, so here's the old firebox. And then it's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. So and basically each level has a platform and uh, I've climbed it before. I don't really feel like climbing it now. Maybe, maybe in another, another day or something. But pretty neat opportunity for wireless stuff and some other options. But this is my, my baby, my room where I'll be chilling in here. These are our two four inch conduits that go out to the vault that we were just looking at. <clears throat> We've got a three phase 200 amp service. Uh, this is our three phase 200 amp service. That's, this is like the house panel. That's my panel. Um, and you see, we got my two racks in. We put some ladder in. Uh, we're gonna have an HVAC unit up there. We're boarding this window. It's getting framed in and uh, covered up. So we'll still, we have to be historic. So it's still gonna be a window, but inside will be boarded up. Um, this is um, all 10 fibers that run to each apartment. So. If you move into our building, you got to use us for the internet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little uh, wall mount rack over here. And I'm going to basically, that's going to be for this building. And then this is going to be for the town that we're in. So this will just be for you, um, sp uh, splice cases. Um, and then over here, I'm going to have um, my DD DWDM equipment, um, my Arista, um, my eight port OLT, and forgetting something, oh, a couple batteries. Uh, and that, just with those five U, um, I should be able to put a thousand customers online in this town. So um, 
pretty, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of that tour. But now let's go take a peek at one of these apartments because I'm telling you, check this out. Oh, this is so legit. Oh no, this one's framed in too. But this, I know some of these have a loft, I thought. <clears throat> and every single one of ours are the same here. Um, we just have a smart panel. So we're coming to town. We're going to basically, um, yeah, no, oh my goodness, look at this. Look how bright it is with even no light in here. Gosh, at your TV and look at your loft up there. How cool, man. Yeah, Kirk crushed it on this. Kirk really crushed it. But we'll be coming in. Uh, this is a one bedroom apartment. So there's one for the bedroom, one for the TV. Um, and then we just hit turn wireless on in that bad boy. Now, if I keep going yeah, this way, here we go. Keep going this way. And this is actually the main entrance. Oh, that's roof access. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Uh, we'll go down here. Uh, we bought the... Uh, building, I guess, for five thousand dollars. We put about a probably a million dollars into it, um, something like that. Now, this is the handicap uh, unit. That's why it's allowed on the first floor, and a little too, a little too dusty in there for my tastes. Uh, <clears throat> but this is one of the garage. There, we kept the garage doors to keep the aesthetic. So, if you live in an apartment upstairs, you could actually get one of the three enclosed. Uh, garage doors save god that's so cool if kirk's gonna repurpose that i love him all right well that's pretty much that tour um it was like the concrete dudes were letting them use our our excavator there and that's where the old cornerstone goes um and the fire department uh, super cool it's actually going to bring uh bring the they took it to the new fire station um so they're gonna actually bring it back uh to us and there's gonna be like a whole ceremony which is pretty 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 slick um but you can see here we got some more um so we call in a locate and they come out and they put the lines we have to then come behind them to figure out how deep it is they will not do that uh the depth because the depth i'm told is a liability so pretty awesome um so if you're interested in an apartment you probably can can get one with some super super fast internet now part of the deal that brett cooked up with the city because the city owned it um we're coming in to remodel um the shebang now see it's super super nice day today but this has been painted this hasn't um, we had some really bad weather, so they, I guess they couldn't they couldn't paint during that time. Um, but they part of the deal we bought this for five thousand uh, dollars. They allowed us the um, handicap unit on the first floor. That gives us nine apartments in this place, one commercial space. This building back here, technically we own it, but the city has a ninety nine year lease for a dollar a year or something. So. That's where they store all their Christmas decorations and some other stuff. So it's actually kind of nice because now we basically get this built-in security apparatus of the city is going to constantly be going into this building and they monitor it and they like, you know, they're here all the time. So they would notice if something was awry. So it's actually, it's actually like a free um, little add-on security bonus. But we're going to be running... Uh, DWDM from here back to our pop that's 15 miles up. So every 15 miles, we're pretty much putting in a pop and I'm doing a regen. Um, and I'm not doing, o I'm not doing like a real OEO. I'm doing a, like a optic, uh, two, two optics and a switch to kind of re regen. It's more efficient, I think, um, especially considering uh, this allows us to really branch out quick. So we're coming to town here in Pocomoak and we get, we'll basically get 10 customers before we even leave the building. Um, and 
as you can see, they well, they'll do 700 feet today. Um, so all the way down that road to the, the furthest stop sign. And then yesterday, uh, we went all the way down to that stop sign then busted a right where that stop sign is and goes a block up, two blocks up or something. So, but yeah, we're doing some, uh, we'll be doing some DWDM uh, videos where we do some Jeep on uh, stuff. And uh, now I'm gonna get in this thing and get out of town. Well, all right, well, I hope everybody still hanging out and having fun.